and I don't do that whole, I'm fat, what am I chiseling? Hi, my name is Nafisa, and welcome to my channel. Check the setup. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Got a new lens. I'm taking this journey of YouTube seriously. So we've upgraded a little bit. We're going to see how this looks visually for this first video. But I think it looks cute. What do you think? But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. So today's topic, I miss old school YouTube tutorials like makeup tutorials let's say that not necessarily old YouTube when it was just five second videos of some cat running away I was introduced to makeup around 2016 when my best friend was getting married and I didn't want to look busted for her wedding I was never big into makeup growing up I was not allowed to wear it and when I was grown it just never really appealed to me like that. Like I wore a little mascara and that's it. 2016, I got on YouTube, started typing and doing a little research, brown skin friendly makeup <laughs> tutorials. And of course, I got exposed to Jackie Ina and Alyssa Ashley. And I do not want to butcher her name, Udis Bailene. I think her name is. I always called her Iris, but I know that's not how you pronounce her name. You hear my accent, right? And they were always detailed. They always gave wear tests. They, I trusted their opinions and their techniques. And it's gotten me to a place of where I feel, felt comfortable doing my makeup. Even when my best friend was getting married. So it'll keep that day. It wasn't the best. Because I was working with very minimal products. We did what we had to do for that day. Okay, we looked cute that day. So today we're going to do my go-to look that I learned from these influencers back in the day. And we're going to get into why I miss them so much because TikTok is just not doing it for me anymore. I miss the detail. I can't get inspiration or even technique 30 second videos but let's get into it so i've already primed my face with the elf hydro grip primer and veiny cream was my moisturizer so i always do my eyes first i know that's up for debate as far as technique and steps goes it's what makes me comfortable especially since i have small call it beauty baby eyes i want fallout or glitter coming onto my face while i have on foundation i do my eyes wipe off the excess and then i do my base today as far as eyeshadow goes we're going to use uh, Too Faced, Born This Way. I think this is the Warm Ember Nudes. It's the mini eyeshadow palette. And just as a backup, because this has like one dark brown, a medium brown, a purple, purple shimmer, brown shimmer, and then like a champagne kind of shimmer. I don't think that's going to be enough depth for me. So just as a backup. We have the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Nudes in Dark. And I also have my bronzing palette, a Mani in UA, an influencer. <laughs> I have, I've held on to this palette for so long, being that I did discover makeup so late in life, I became a makeup hoarder. So there are products that yes, are a little bit old, but I refuse to let them go because one, it's eyeshadow. I don't. I really don't feed into the whole like. Oh, it has an expiration date. Yeah, if it goes on my like eyelashes or like something, or if the consistency changes or anything, then yeah, I'll throw it away. But eyeshadows on my throw away. Not gonna do it. I'm just gonna prime my eyes. I'm not gonna prime it with like a base or anything. Cause I'm not doing anything too crazy today. We're just gonna take some setting powder. I <laughs> I've tried so many setting powders, and the one that I've always gone back to, cause I've used this 
since I've started doing my makeup it was Cover, Cover Girl Clean Professional. And I think this is in translucent medium. I've tried Laura Mercier. I've tried banana powders, like a couple of different types of banana powders, but nothing gets the softness and like the blur that I like except for this powder. I don't even think they sell it like that anymore. So when this jars up, then yeah, I'll probably have to find a uh, alternative. But for right now, she's looking pretty full. So that's what we're gonna go with today. <laughs> you probably couldn't even hear me, I'm whispering. We're gonna take the medium brown from Makeup Revolution. This top one right here, just so I can get it even later because I do have discoloration on my lids. Now, I didn't just go to Women of Color as far as tutorials. I did check out some Nikki tutorials, <laughs> especially her product recommendations. She always gave very good product um, like descriptions and wear tests and stuff like that. I know Michelle Fawn was big in the day. I know she was very early YouTube before the beauty community was even a thing. Being that I am brown and I was trying to get recommendations for my color, like people that were around my color, I did lean towards women of color as far as suggestions. Like eyeshadow, yeah, I can watch anyone. Skin products, I can watch anyone. But foundation wise, it was already a struggle. I don't know why people think we're orange but we're not and a lot of it was so hard for me to find products especially with my skin tone yeah i look somewhat golden right i do have i leaned more towards neutral because i don't go out in the sun i just don't i don't leave my home i just had a baby i work from home i rarely get sunlight <laughs> a lot of my makeup products i do have to mix with blue, which I learned from YouTube, in order for me to not get that orangey look because I do have neutralness in my face. And I think, I wanna say it was Jackie. Well, I know Jackie was the one who I really watched for color correction. I did have very bad skin issues when I was in my early 20s. Like I had a lot of acne there's a lot of skin issues and discoloration especially since i was diabetic i needed some orange <laughs> makeup corrector to help me with my discoloration i later discovered the blue mixing pigment which i will be using today to help me get something closer to my skin color there was a lot of drama associated with the makeup influencer community i actually remember watching like t videos like there were literally channels dedicated to makeup influencer t who wasn't talking to who and who was doing fake reviews and it was madness right i see why some people may have deterred away from the makeup beauty community it's just it's so much drama associated with it or maybe they're over it they were really the inspiration for me to learn makeup to learn what goes what fits my face right i miss that so much i get on tiktok everything is like a minute video like get ready with me so i love a good get ready with me don't get me wrong do not get me wrong. I love a good get, get ready with me. I cannot learn new techniques in under a minute just watching you do it. Like I need someone to go step by step and walk me through the process in order for me to get there. It's not gonna happen. So, and YouTube gives people that opportunity, right? Because it's long form content. You, I don't feel like you can learn anything in under a minute Unless you're rewatching that video a million times and you're trying to decipher what that person is doing when they could have just told you. 
TikTok is probably going away. So I do see a lot, well, supposedly, I do see a lot more people probably coming over to YouTube to try and build their communities and do long form content. It's, it's really gonna be a learning curve because a lot of these people are not used to doing long, long form content. The setup it takes the dedication it takes to edit the videos and whatnot like you're not just doing this quick little setup and then a couple of splices of a video and then uploading it like youtube takes time it takes dedication it takes it can take money you know i don't think a lot of people are gonna be willing to do that because it was so easy tiktok made it so easy for people to become content creators right jackie was so into her craft wear test and her eyeshadow tutorials and her foundation tutorials her cameras her editing like everything was a one like she did her big one in all of her content, I still watch her old content to this day. There are TikTok creators that I have learned from. Kenya Broadnax and Julie Ann, those are the two people that I would say are like, that I actually learned stuff from. And then I trust their product reviews because there's a lot of, I'm not gonna mention names, but there's some people <laughs> There's some people on TikTok, I do not trust their reviews. Like, I know it's paid, sis. I'm not about to go waste my, my hard-earned hard -earned money. And I know that you probably don't even like the product. Jackie's going to keep it a bean with me. If she says it's not worth it, it's probably not worth it. Because she's got the bag anyway. She's still doing content, right? She does her TikTok content. She's got her perfume line coming out. And Alyssa Ashley, I know she started to do workout content and stuff like that. Like people grow and people get into new things and everything like I get it. But I just, can y'all make like a once a week? <laughs> I just miss the makeup artistry, really. Like I miss the technique. Like I remember Julianne. Uh, Julie Annie, I think their name is, was going on about where is the technique? Like people are putting liquid blush over powder, like, <laughs> and posting it up. Like it's like, that's going to be conducive to your makeup routine. And it's just not. We're teaching people the wrong things and they're just going to go with it and i just i really miss it i say that all of that to say i am going to be leaning towards makeup content i have a lot of products and we need to use them let's just say that <laughs> ever since i became a mom i kind of lost myself it, like i went months without doing my makeup and my hair and whatnot like i've just done a retwist for the first time and i don't know how long makeup was my way of caring for myself at the end of the day like i take this time come into my room by myself little music or youtube playing in the background and i'm able to think quietly <laughs> And just ground myself, you know, and then also beautify myself at the end of the day and explore with colors and whatnot. So I just, I really miss makeup and I want to share that with you guys. We can experiment because <laughs> there's some stuff that I do want to try, but I've been afraid to because I've been stuck in this routine for years. Like it's what I'm comfortable with. I did use the dark brown from Makeup Revolution. I used the brown from the Too Faced. Uh, let's do, let's try a little bit of the brown. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. Cause I haven't used this palette yet. It's relatively new. So, even my eyeshadow, like I've never really experimented with bright colors because I've been afraid to. <laughs> Do I have Juvia's palettes and bright colors and yellows and golds and purples? And... Yeah, but I've never used them. I've used them, but never took pictures of it because I was just, I was afraid. There was a lot of things I was afraid to do in life that now that I'm 30, <laughs> that I want to try out and that I want to delve into. I guess I'll share that with you guys.
guys. And we'll, we'll try to learn some things along the way, you know? What I learn, I'll share with you. <laughs> and maybe what you can learn, you can share with other people too. People just don't wake up and become makeup artists. It's a learning curve, right? Because I've got my base down. Like, my base is... It does have room for improvement, yes, but I feel like my base is pretty good. The products that I use are really good. I do have a combination of drugstore and high-end products. When you use your fingers, the pigment is just really strong. I sounded so country when I said that. I'm going into the Manny Inglay palette for a little bit darker on the end for, I think it's called How. We're just gonna blend that into the shimmer that we just added, just for a little bit more depth. The advantages of having a baby. <laughs> I have like baby wipes whenever. <laughs> I'm gonna clear up, I'm pretty much done. This is very basic. It took me not, well I used three or four colors for the eyeshadow. I am gonna add some tight line my eyes with black eyeliner and add a lash on. But that's pretty much for eyes. And you could use makeup wipes. Don't use baby wipes like I do. This is just I, this is what I have. Okay, use what you got. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to tight line my eyes with eyeliner and put on a lash. And then we're gonna get into the base. For the complete eyes, I just tight lined, add a little lash, literally the tiniest lash. It's a demi wispy. If you know, you know. <laughs> but we're gonna go into base today. I'm using Too Faced, Born This Way, in Chestnut. Winter's over, but I'm still neutral because I got no sun. So I have my little palette, I got my foundation. And one tiny little drop of blue. And my face is big, so I might have to add a, a half a pump to the pumps I already have. And, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> I'm new to this uh, beauty thing, okay? Got my color now. It's a lot more neutral. Because this, this was like a golden um, foundation, but... I'm not gonna get rid of it, so I'm gonna make it work. So, that's the color match. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Long hair problems. I refuse to get foundation in my hair. <laughs> so, I'm gonna blend this out. And it still looks orangish, right? But since this pump, since this bottle is almost done, I am going to get probably the next step up. I've been looking. I, this is chasel, chestnut. I think the one that I need to get is maple, possibly. So one, I think I have only like one or two pumps left of a zip one. So we're just gonna make it work today and get my ears since they don't really match <laughs> and drag it down to the neck yeah i think that looks that looks decent <laughs> that do Bob. concealer is also born this way i might have to add a little bit of la pro girl because this is it's not too late i really back to tiktok <laughs> i realized with tiktok that like the looks are recycled, not to be shady at all, but when it comes to makeup tutorials that I see with women that are about my shade or a little bit darker or even lighter, it's always the same look. Like it's extremely light under eye, big lashes, and a brown lip. I love all of those things. But can we get a little bit of diversity, please? Just a tiny bit. Like, I would love to see a little diversity. That's all I'm saying. And I'm talking like I don't do those things. 
as I'm, I'm applying the light concealer. It's not whitish, but it's it's pretty light. Give me an extreme eye. Like, what happened to cut creases? I haven't seen a cut crease in so long. Why are we reserving cut creases for birthdays? Go to work on Wednesday and cut crease. What happened to that? I digress. <laughs> So we're gonna blend out. I don't keep my this concealer on for very long. This I'm I'm sticking till it's dry because I do have eye bags. Because I have a five month old. He does sleep through the night most nights though. But last night these lot he's teething. So these last couple of nights, ciao. Send me through it, crying every five minutes, but that's my baby. <laughs> and then I used to, well, most of the time, depending on how much sleep I have, right? So before I put in my foundation, I'll do concealer under my eyes, let it dry down a little bit, blend out, put my foundation on, and then do another layer of concealer to sort of fill it in, like the little creases that I have from lack of sleep but <laughs> we're not too bad today it's still wet like if you can move your face and see the shininess it's not dry yet let it dry while my under eye concealer is drying a little bit i don't use this very often but we're experimenting right <laughs> so this is elf camo concealer this is my contour i'm just gonna add a tiny few dots. That's it. Cause I use powder. I'm I don't like liquid concealer like that. And I'm just gonna point this out with the ends. Like you can barely tell. So like I don't understand liquid concealer sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I just use too little. But I feel like powder just, like, it did a little something, but powder just sets it off. And I messed up my eyebrow, so this was just proof that I shouldn't have used liquid. Like, I usually use a cream if I'm going to do that, but the liquid was literally right in front of me. So, this is what we're going to use, but we're going to fix it with powder anyway. Happy mistakes. <laughs> Wasn't that Bob Ross? Happy mistakes. Still is a little bit drier now under the eye. So we're just gonna go really lightly. Cause you don't want it completely to go away. And I know this video was all over the place. Give me some grace. This is my first, this is my, well this is my first makeup video cause I had a weight loss, my weight loss story time while I was applying my makeup, but I wasn't really explaining my makeup like that. We're gonna get better at it. That's, that's what's important, right? How's that looking? A little light. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my powders. I'm not a baker. I'm a set and brush because I have extremely dry skin. <sighs> yeah. you really want to press your powder in especially i am a part <laughs> i'm a party of part of the 30 and up club so this is semi-aged skin over here you want to press your powder in like if you're a fresh 20 22 25 even you can get away with the baking and the, the you can do all that i can't do it it's gonna settle in places that don't need to be settled in Okay, so we're gonna push the product in. And then after I apply the rest of this powder, I'm literally gonna brush it off. We're not, we're not in here for the long game at all. Yeah. And I don't do that whole, I'm fat. What am I chiseling? Okay. <laughs> now I usually use two different contours. So 
I broke my favorite bronzer, which was, they don't make it anymore. It was the uh, Queen Collection CoverGirl bronzer. I think like Queen Latifah or something was the spokesperson for it. And I broke it and I can't find it anymore. So we have the go-to True uh, Black Radiance palette. And then also Black Radiance, I just get their pressed powder, but in a dark color. That's usually my go-to if I don't want any sort of shimmer or more like a bronzy look because you can get a neutral tone pressed powder if you want a cooler contour or you can get a warmer tone pressed powder if you want a bronzer and they're cheap. So. And y'all have to correct me if I'm wrong, like maybe my FYP is just not up to date with makeup influencers because I haven't delved in that sort of content for so long. But all I'm seeing is like, like I've seen the Michaela's and then like Jeffree Star made a comeback and yeah, I'm just, I want, I want to find people that one can actually give me makeup technique and then two, I'm just going to stick to YouTube. <laughs> At this point, sis, I'm just going to stick to YouTube. I'm not learning anything from TikTok. Like I really feel like TikTok has ruined our perception of time. I short, my attention span is so short because of TikTok. Usually if you're not interesting within the first five seconds, and I know this because I do it, like I just click off. Clicking someone into your content is so important. And TikTok has, we did the contour, we're contoured. But in order to blend everything in, we got this step from Melissa Ashley. Now I am gonna do a video on products that I refuse to throw away or get rid of from my routine after this. So this is the Sephora Micro Smooth. When I tell you, if they ever, like I remember when they stopped making this in this color maybe for a little while and I was going through it. I had hit pan and I was scraping the side. This is toffee. While I still have powder on my face, right? So I'm gonna take this, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna brush my baking powder off with the Micro Smooth. You said you have dry skin. Why are you brushing away powder with powder? Cause it works out, you'll see. <laughs> so we'll brush away that and also blend it into your contour is just, it's more for cohesion than anything. We'll just blend together. See, everything looks cohesive now. We're good, right? That was the magical step and I learned it from YouTube. Who would have thought? This is done. Uh, it's time to sit. Oh no, I forgot my I forgot blush. Blush, we have Juvia's Place. We're gonna take the top one. Everybody knows if you have ever experienced Juvia's, they are pigmented. You do not need much. And the orange one's really pretty. If I want something a little bit more summery. Oops, see, I already applied too much. And I always put a little bit on my nose. I don't know, that's like a shout out to my mommy because my mommy always wore blush on her nose. <laughs> Take the same brush that we used the powder and go back in and blend all of that together. See, everything looks cohesive. So now I'm going to, going to, I'm country, I'm working on it. Setting spray is the Milani Make It Last. This is my go-to setting spray. I do also have uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. If I'm going out and I know I have to be out for a long period of time, then <laughs> I'm going to use All Nighter. 
this lasts just as long honestly and it's way cheaper so don't waste your money sis. just because i have lashes on i'm gonna cover up my eyelashes and spray it smells like straight up alcohol also because i use so much powder i use a lot of setting I was trying to hold my breath the entire time so I wouldn't breathe in fumes. Because this looks pretty good, I might not do this, but sometimes if things still aren't looking blended together, I'll go back in while my face is wet and just tap it out a little bit. So that makes it just set a little bit more. Right? I don't start gonna do lips. I just moved, so I don't know where my lip pencils are. This is the only one I can find. And it's from a beauty supply store. It's NK in coffee. Um, and we have Fenty hot chocolate. This is the heat version. It's the only one I could find when it first came out. So it is plumping. It is going to set your lips on fire. That is such a good color though. All right, and then we're gonna take the hair down, give it a little brush out, and this is the completed look. What do you think? Considering the fact that I did not uh, plan anything, I think I did pretty well. Thank you so much for watching my first makeup video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I do want to thank you guys again for dealing with my content and trying to find what it is that I want to do. <laughs> because I, well, I am still going to talk about weight loss. I have lost over 180 pounds so far. Uh, new motherhood and makeup. Apparently, these are my three favorite things. My baby, my health. And makeup. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be concentrating on. Oh, my husband is going to pop in here every other whenever he can. <laughs> so my marriage is another part of my channel. I hope you like the look. If you can give me any people on TikTok, maybe, or even some people on YouTube that you think that I would like or that I can learn from or just get inspired from, Please let me know in the comments below, but I do want to thank you guys again. Have a good day.